We're going to go right into the Super Bowl breakdown. Now, the last time we had you on the show, I mean, you were making a prediction up for the Super Bowl. And you're, I, I feel like we were maybe around into the playoffs or something like that. And you were predicting uh, a Falcons win in the Super Bowl over the Patriots. Uh, and mm-hmm. you predicted the Wolf was going to be shedding some tears. And I was all in on Team Gina, let me tell you. <laughs> and um, I don't know what team prevailed, though. I don't, I don't remember what team up, prevailed. Did up. you guys remind me? Shut up. Uh, I think I remember. Um, actually, I only remember about 85% of the Super Bowl. Last thing I remember, the Falcons had an eight-point lead, and then Kyle Shanahan decided not to run the ball. <laughs> Yeah, but, right. Yeah, and then you were like, well, you were like, I can turn I this off. <laughs> I might have a little bit of selective amnesia. No, that was a terrible, terrible game. And it was really the worst. And I don't know. I mean, it really is the most Falcons thing ever yeah. to blow a 25 point lead, which is, of course, a, a first in any Super Bowl to take a game to overtime, which is another first for the Super Bowl and then lose. And I just, I'm really not over it. I really don't know that I ever will be. I have to field these stupid 28 to three jokes from Saints fans on Twitter. And it's like, your team has gone seven and nine for three years. This doesn't have anything to do with you. Gina, you realize that, that our, our good buddy, the wolf was in Vegas like a month ago and Julio Jones was like in the room next to him or something. And the wolf had some woman slip him a napkin that said 28 to three. Are you yeah. serious? This is a true story. I, I, I had my, my golden moment to meet a, a famous athlete and then decided to uh, just be a, an annoying Patriots fan and, and do that instead. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just as appalled as you. He was not pleased. I thought I'd get like the Julio Jones smile and just whatever. He looked like he was ready to murder me or at least hire someone to do so. So they're not over it either, clearly. No, they're not. They are definitely not. You would you would chalk that up. And I mean, you know, I don't want to I don't want to put words in your mouth here. But would you chalk this up to just uh, a, a blown coaching job? I mean, clearly they had the team to beat the Patriots. I think it was actually a perfect storm of things. First of all, I think that it's Bill Belichick and Tom Brady. And I think that you have to be honest about the fact that they're just ridiculously good and I think that the Patriots are a team that they know that they can win in any circumstance and so no lead is safe with them and I I felt that way even with the 25 point lead I mean I was nervous the entire game the other factor is coaching you know I think that you play situational football, you run the ball when you're in field goal range with an eight point lead in the fourth Mm -hmm. quarter and your kicker has been perfect from that distance. You run the ball. I mean, situational football is not what got the Falcons where they got last season. To be fair, it was aggressive play calling from Kyle Shanahan that really did that. So that really was consistent with Kyle's character and his approach to calling games, but still it's the Super Bowl. And sometimes you just have to be smart and not cute. And he got cute and it lost the game. And the other thing is just every single thing had to go right for the Patriots and every single thing had to go wrong for the Falcons. And statistically, that's improbable, but that's exactly what happened. So I think that it was really just a perfect storm of those few things. It was, and it was a perfect storm. I will say perfect is a great word for that. I loved every second of it, and I feel bad rubbing it in, but I did know you said you were gonna, I was going to shed some tears. There were only tears of joy, and it was a great day. It will never – it will go down as one of my favorites. Hopefully there will be a Super Bowl rematch. We'll see. I mean – That will be a lot of fun. I hear yes. what Gina's saying as far as, like, how great – Brady and Belichick are, and they are, and you know they they can best of all time. Sh- uh, best tandem of all time. Yeah, I agree, and and mm-hmm. they can work their way out of anything. But I would push back and say that if uh, the Falcons had called the, you know, just appropriate plays, running the clock, not passing in ridiculous situations at the appropriate times, I don't think they would have been able to come back. But I mean, you know, look, even even with the blunders that the Falcons made. You had to you had to be great to to make them pay for it, and the Patriots were great at the right time. Uh, I'm I'm probably just as angry about it. you know I'll, I'll bet I'm angrier about it than you are because I have to be around <laughs> these guys all the time. Like I, I I do a podcast with this jerk twice a week, and <laughs> I mean he brings.